Hey! I just got the news. Congratulations on starting your Depop journey and for making that first sale. Now, I know the most important question that's on everyone's mind is how the heck does shipping work? Well, don't worry. I've done all the research for you and I've simplified it so that you can get the cheapest, most affordable, most convenient, and honestly the easiest way to understand shipping all in one video. And let's get started. Okay. Yay! So in order to ship clothing on the internet, you really only need to know three things. One, what equipment do you need? Two, how much does the package weigh? And three, how do you print a shipping label online? And today I'll be going over step-by-step -step how to do that, helping you click through the websites to print a shipping label and what packaging you would need in addition to a chart that I created myself so that you can use it as a quick reference for how much your shipping should cost based on the weight of your item. First off, let's start with equipment. You'll need a weight scale. It can be a kitchen scale or a shipping scale, anything to weigh your packages. And then what I like to do is add a box on top of the scale because it helps contain um, all of my items into the box and make sure that the whole item gets weighed and that the item is not spilling out and giving a inaccurate reading. A measuring tape for measuring packages and items. A simple poly mailer that you can get from Amazon. The internet also has some compostable poly mailers available. Some shipping label sheets to print on your printer, but don't worry, these are optional. You can also print on regular printer sheets and just tape the label onto your package manually instead of using a shipping label sticker. What I like to use in addition to the poly mailers are the USPS Priority Mail flat rate envelopes, specifically the padded ones. Um, they look a little bit small, but they're super stretchy and durable that they can fit a lot. So I like to use that for my bulkier items like jackets or even if I'm just bundling a couple of items where it's not just the jacket but maybe also some pants or jeans, it can usually fit at least two or three things. So all you'll need are those four main things and just to be clear, do not get the regular flat rate envelope. The one that's not padded is just cardboard and can really rip easily. They're not very good for carrying anything really and it can't stretch. So this is the one that you don't want. Now that we've gotten that out of the way, where you can get the USPS packaging is on their website. It's for free and let me show you how to do it. So how to order these priority mail padded flat rate envelopes is first you go onto usps.com, go on to shop, below shop you have shipping supplies, click on that. From there you'll be taken to a page with a bunch of supplies and there's just too many. So what we're going to do on the left hand side is filter by priority mail. We're looking for priority mail flat rate boxes. So as we scroll down here you have the option of really getting any of these boxes like the medium flat rate, but uh, I usually don't use many of those uh, when I'm shipping clothes on Depop. So what we're going to do is just focus on the padded flat rate envelope. You'll have the option of choosing a pack of 10 or pack of 15. You can choose the quantity of how many packs you would like with a maximum of 10 packs. Add that to your cart, then check out. And from there, you can ha use your account or you can check out as a guest. Now, the packages will cost $0. It is absolutely free. The only time you'll have to pay is when you are purchasing the shipping label for these packages. So then you'll just check out and then you'll be done. Now that we've got equipment out of the way, let's talk about how to set up our own shipping when creating a listing on Depop. Before even making a sale on Depop, when you are creating your listing and you get to the shipping options below, uh, for domestic, Depop will like you to use their ship with Depop label options, but there are two reasons why I wouldn't recommend this. One is that their rates are a little bit more pricey. You can get them cheaper from pirateship.com. And two, lately, it's seems like when you're going to use the Depop label, what happens is after you make a sale is that they send you the receipt and then they have this glitch sometimes where it's like, oh, verify your PayPal in order to get your shipping label. But the problem is that a lot of people's PayPals are verified. Even me, myself, I still get this message despite the fact that Depop does deposit money into my PayPal and everything works perfectly fine. The problem that's created is then you can't even print the shipping label and Depop already took the fees for that. So if you need to really ship it out, you end up paying for the shipping out of your own pocket. And and not only that, but the rates aren't very good. So for example, these pants that I'm selling are one pound and five ounces. I would have to go under large if something's under two pounds, but that is $11. With pirateship.com, I would most likely try to fit the pants in a padded flat rate envelope, which will only be $8. So I would put my own shipping and put $8 for that. And don't worry about how I got that $8 calculation. We'll be going over it next. 
So in comparison to last year's Depop shipping video in 2020, um, there has been some changes in the chart that I created last time. And so today we'll be going over that for this year. Some things that are different is that USPS increased their rates again. Even Ship with Depop raised their rates by 25 cents. And the second thing that changed is that last year I had us use both PirateShip.com and PayPal.com to print out our shipping labels. I've decided to simplify the process and just use PirateShip.com. This is a lot easier too because last year uh, we used to only get payments via PayPal, but now uh, we're able to get payments on both PayPal and on Depop payments so since those two are separated well might as well congregate and simplify our shipping to one website that still gives the same if not better rates than paypal with that being said let's get started with reviewing what we have just so you know that um, this chart that we're reviewing will be in the description below for you to download and use as a reference sheet i use it a lot when deciding how much to charge for my own shipping based on the weight of our item the reason why i always advocate to use the use my own shipping option when listing an item on Depop in comparison to the ship with Depop options is that going with pirate ship is actually cheaper than if you went with Depop's default ship with Depop shipping labels. For example, extra small items uh, that are under four ounces are $3.75 when they can in fact be $3.49 on pirateship.com. Now how I got the pricing for pirate ship, of course, packages um, are pretty different depending on the weight and even the location of where it's heading to. So I tried to cast a wide net of one side of the US to the other side. So this would be the price of like the maximum, hopefully. So that's why I put a note here that I calculated these rates from Los Angeles to New York City. And when you're inputting the weight into the website to print out your shipping label, if you have a package that's like 13.4 ounces, then just round up to 14 ounces as a whole number. Continuing down, the the pirate ship pricing does a lot better than the Depop pricing. But once we hit the larger weights beyond one pound, uh, the pricing gets a little bit tricky, but I've simplified it and broken it down here below. So for example, if you have a one pound item, what you want to do is use the USPS Party Mail padded flat rate envelope because it can fit anything um, under 70 pounds, which will all just be at a flat rate of $8. But if it doesn't fit your padded flat rate envelope, then what, what I recommend you trying to do is kind of putting it in your 15 times 12 inch poly mailer and getting that priority mail cubic rate from 1.1 pound to you know four pound for about ten dollars 31 also this is weird i don't know why when i was plugging in the numbers usps has like a specific price for exactly 16 ounce or exactly one pound packages which is 815 which is a big jump in comparison to if you went to like 15 ounces at five dollars and 98 sense. Either way, I would just use this $8 one. Lastly, once you get more into like the two pound range or if your clothes can't fit the poly mailer or it's too thick that it looks more three dimensional instead of a flat two dimensional envelope, then you're going to have to go with the box or rigid packaging when you are typing it in on pirateship.com. Let's say you have heavy and big boots in a box and maybe the box is around 14 times 10 times 5 inches at 3 pounds and 10 ounces so this one you'll just have to you know play around with the numbers and the sizes and uh, case by case you'll just have to plug it into pirate ship and see what you get as the cheapest rate that they provide you uh, when i plugged this in i got the usps parcel select ground which was 1756 that's actually more expensive than if you went with the depop option so probably in this larger weight range i would recommend just going with depop's extra large option that covers up to 10 pounds 10 pounds is a lot and pirate ship only goes up to four pounds and that's it for shipping rates for 2021 again you can find the link to downloading this file or pdf in the description below once you've made your sale, what you're going to want to do is go on depop.com, the website, click on your profile, go to receipts in this top right corner here. And on the receipts page uh, with the buyer information under the price and payment information, you're going to want to click on copy address here. And once you've copied that address, you're going to go on to pirateship.com. Once you're logged in, this is what the dashboard will look like. You can create a single label right here. And next to the ship to button, there's a small button for paste address. So you don't have to put everything individually. 
and it'll auto fill at the bottom and separate. And you can just do a quick look to see if everything looks correct and then choose the type of packaging. For clothes, we're gonna typically choose the envelope padded envelope poly bag option or soft pack option, which is how we will get the soft pack cubic pricing. For package dimensions, um, typically my poly mailer is around 15 inches by 12 inches. And then for the weight, let's say it is 15 ounces, which is just below a pound. One pound is 16 ounces, so we're just gonna go a little bit below that. Uh, these, you don't really need anything, but if your mail happens to qualify for media ma mail, such as if it's books, music, or films, there'll be different pricing. Click get rates. From there, they will show options for your rates. There is the first class package, the parcel select ground, and the priority mail. Usually the first class package is the cheapest, so we go with that, and then I just buy label. So once you buy your label, there will be a PDF that shows up that you can download or you can print from the screen. And after printing your shipping label, make sure to also print your packing slip, which you can find in the email that Depop sends you when they say that you make a sale. You can print half the email, or what I like to do is do a partial screenshot of that email where the receipt is and then print that out. And a small little detail that I like to add with my packages is to surprise my customers with a small little note for myself, thanking them for making the purchase, from buying from me, as well as for them to have a really great day. And I add some cute little stickers in the envelope and put it into the package. Oh, also adding the tracking information on Depop under the receipt section so that Depop or PayPal knows that your package was dropped off at the post office and you've done your end of the bargain as a seller so that they can protect you and you can get that seller protection. And the rest of it is just letting the post office deliver the package to your buyer and you're all set to go. So in total, what your shipping process should look like is that you have your poly mailer, you stick the item into the poly mailer bag, adding in the packing slip and maybe a cute little note for you your buyer then you close up the bag and then add the shipping label and then just drop it off at the post office and that's it you will be done congratulations that is your first sale if you found today's information helpful please click like below so that others can find this video as well comment any questions that you have and subscribe for more videos one that's coming up next is an updated video on international shipping with depop i did create a video last year there has been some changes on the back end so i would like to address those in the next video and that is all for today's video video. Thanks so much for watching. Talk to you soon. Bye!